marathon coach. I'm Mal Williams with the sales department here in Coburg, Oregon. This is marathon coach number 1261. We're going to go inside and take a look. 1261 is an X3 double slide. So let's go take a look at this coach. right away is that from the cockpit we're already in the living quarters. Now Marathon Coach 1261 is known as the Crocodile Coach because it is a crocodile themed coach. Not necessarily intentionally but a lot of the decor and a lot of the accents are kind of in a crocodile pattern. Here we are in the salon of 1261. You've got a sleeper sofa right here on this side. Let me show you what it does. So it articulates for the lack of a better term right down to a really good size sofa. What you do is you put a little wedge pillow in the middle there so you're not feeling that uh, seam down the middle. It's got storage on the back side. Check this out. This is really nice. You got these little pockets on both sides and then it goes right back up. And if you see, you've got storage underneath also. Right back into a sofa. And then on this side, you've got the recliner. So the recliner is one of the most comfortable chairs you'll ever find. Reclines also sits comfortably when it's straight up. Behind it, you've got additional storage. You also have a magazine rack. But in a marathon coach, you want utilization of space. And that's something I'll be telling you about throughout this tour of Coach 1261. Utilization of space means every little area that can be utilized is in a marathon coach. And so here's a little pocket storage area, perfect for an iPad, perfect for a laptop. Actually, it goes pretty deep, so you can fit you know, a couple of, of uh, larger items in there if need be. As you get a good shot here going back to the back of the coach, the floors are heated. Really nice and comfortable when you step out onto a heated tile floor uh, when it's cold outside or cold in the coach and the floor is heated. It's really a nice effect. 1261 has a great feature that all of our coaches have. First of all, everything runs off of an iPad. The iPad is a great interface for the Crestron system because let's say you lose this, it's only $600 to replace it. Also, everybody knows at this point, or if you don't, you're getting there. Everybody knows the Apple iOS system. We all have our phones. You can also have this marathon Crestron system set up on your iPhone, so from away from the coach, you can check on it and make changes. Let's take a look right now at one thing that our engineers have done over the years that uh, set the entertainment level. With the push of one button, we go into theater mode. Theater mode drops all of the blinds automatically. As you just see, it dims most of the lights and it drops down the big 50 inch Samsung up front and it starts rolling on HDMI 1 or whatever you select. That's a really cool feature. And then with the push of the reverse of the button, all the blinds from the galley to the front of the coach all the way to the cockpit, they all go up. The lights that were dim come back up and stowed right above our head is the 50 inch Samsung. Theater mode is a really cool way to end your day, to start your day, and when you head out in the morning to go get your morning coffee and donut, uh, boom, you hit theater stop and all of the blinds go up, the TV goes up. It's just a really nice way of doing all of the blinds and the lighting at the same time. The iPads, a great integration on a marathon coach, and the docking launch port right here not only holds it securely by magnet, but it charges it as it sits right there. Let's talk about the dinette here in the galley. One thing I like that we really do is we have kind of a dual function dinette. Not only does it have a motorized in-out function, but it also pivots easily so you can get in and out. That's pretty nice. And then once you're in, you can adjust it to where you want it to be. Also, it pivots all the way around. I'll just pivot it out like this have it like a buffet. I really like that because it adds a lot of casualness to the galley area so that people can come and go. Let's say you're tailgating at a game or let's say you're entertaining a group of people. You can have it set up like that for uh, kind of a buffet and just a casual setting for people to come in and grab drinks and, and snacks. Behind the dinette, quite like a yacht would have, you've got storage back here. And storage 
storage back here. There's also uh, storage underneath the dinette and above. Several different options up there. Here we are in the uh, galley. It's got a Fisher Paykel dish drawer. Now, some people call it a dish drawer, some people call it a dishwasher. People are using these dish drawers as exactly that, as a dish drawer. This dish drawer can store safely. It's probably the safest place to store your dishes. It's very nice to put them in there. Let's say you use four dishes for breakfast. You put them back in and you just wash all of them again. You're using the same amount of water you would and you're using the same amount of electricity that you would. So boom. Your dishes are in there, it's the safest place to keep them and it allows for your other storage areas to uh, be freed up to fill with other items. That's kind of something that I'm hearing out there on the road, that people are using the dish drawer for exactly that. It's kind of cool. And also if you get a good shot of that, there's that engineered leather in there. Uh, very nice and easy to keep clean. Also it's got kind of a, a grippy feel to it so if you do put dishes up there, they don't slide around burner top right there. You got the GE Profile Advantium 120. Kind of tried and true when it comes to a convection oven microwave and this is a full size Advantium 120 from GE Profile. Let's talk about this guys. It's about as beautiful as it gets. This is a behind full cabinetry. This is a Sub-Zero refrigerator and it's got this handle that runs the entire length of, of it so you can open it from here or you can open it from also, it's got a two drawer freezer at the bottom with ice maker at the very bottom. Beautiful pull out drawers. Our marathon drawers are all dovetail bamboo. Very strong, very durable, and aesthetically very pleasing. You get a, you get a good look at those. Uh, very pretty drawers. And they're deep and there's two levels of it. So you've got lots of pantry space in Marathon Coach 1261. You wanna have a lot of uh, boxes of cereal, you know, from Lucky Charms to, uh, I used to like O's as a kid, O's was always good. Sometimes you couldn't find it though. Let's move into the mid section here. This is just a beautiful shower. So you've got a shower head, which is the rain shower head, plus you've got the wand, you've got seating in the shower, you actually have uh, the backsplash has fully integrated into it, uh, crocodile pattern. It's beautiful. And check this out, shower door is a pocket door of glass and then it seals itself. Now you'll see how that oh, uh, closed. Now watch as it opens, it goes a little bit slower. That's because it's self-cleaning itself. It has a squeegee built in that it drags all of the water that was on the inside of the shower door off. Now, let's say you need to clean at the bottom where all that water goes. Boom, Marathon Engineering has given you the access to the track where that water would go, other than if it goes into the shower, sometimes it goes into the track where the glass is in, is in there sitting when it's open. Another thing about pocket doors that I really enjoy and like is that here we are, we're standing in a room. We're not necessarily standing in a hallway because with swing doors, swing doors always have to be closed because you can't leave them open. Pocket doors can always be left open, adding additional dimension to your coach. Beautiful bathroom right here. One thing you're going to notice is, hey, look at the ceiling. It's green. And look at the sink. The sink is also green right now. And as it turns, so will the sink. So they're synced, pardon the pun, up together, which is kind of cool. As it turns to yellow, so does the uh, sink. There is a TV monitor in the bathroom. If you want to keep up with the game or the round of golf that you're watching while you go to the bathroom or while you're in the shower, you can look across and watch what's happening. So on that display, you can uh, go to YouTube and you can just loop the um, Monterey Aquarium you can put pictures of your grandchildren or of your family or of your dogs. Uh, it's kind of a neat little uh, aspect. Instead of putting like a framed picture in your bathroom, we have a display, um, a high definition display, so you could show an aquarium or uh, who knows. You could, you could watch the Dodger game, if you will. So, 
let's move into the bedroom. Walk-in closet is going to be on your left hand side when you're there and on your other side is a really nice good sized closet for shirts or folded jeans, folded pants, folded slacks. It also has shoe storage over there on the side. That's nice. Lots of storage in the bedroom. Right now the bed is fully articulated up for the lack of a better term. This is a double slide coach. So what you want is you want the most room when you're not using the bed. That's why the bed is up. Now I'm gonna step over here and show you that very easily and quickly you can go to put the bed down, hold the button, the bed starts to slide forward, thus the bed starts to uh, not be reclined up. It can go all the way down, but I'm going to put the king size bed up, getting it out of the way so that we can have more room to walk through the coach because we're not in the bed right now. Here's a sink right here in the uh, bedroom, also with the uh, backlit uh, to match. So right now the ceiling is purple, so is the sink. This is a walk-in closet laundry room in the rear of this coach. This coach is a one bath coach. We also do a bath and a half uh, where it has a half bath in the rear. This one has the walk-in. So what's in this walk-in? I'll show you. You've got the Ascos out of Sweden, washer dryer stacked here on this side, full audio visual, your direct TVs, your, your Blu-ray players, and you've got adequate storage right here and then you've got a bar for closet space and this just like everything else is on a pocket so you can either have it open for additional dimension or closed so if you you know another nice thing that people do some dogs I've got a Yorkie I've got a four and a half pound Yorkie it's a great dog her name's Fenway so if Miss Fenway wants to feel more secure you put her bed in here, her toys, boom. You close the door, it's got air conditioning, she feels comfortable and she feels secure. It's also a lot quieter if there's additional people out here that she doesn't want, but most likely because she's a very social dog, she'd be out here. 50 inch uh, Samsung. We put Samsungs throughout in a marathon coach. This is a beautiful TV and I really like how we did, did this. You got cabinetry here, you got cabinetry here. This side is mirrored because you have a sink right here. Lots of storage down here. Once again, bamboo dovetail drawers lined with the engineered leather on the inside. Beautiful backsplash rock work here. All of this is hand cut and hand done. You know, when it comes to a marathon coach, it's all about attention to detail. One of the things that I can show you that gives a great example about uh, attention to detail is the wiring in the coach. I'm going to pull this panel off the back side of this walk-in closet to show you what our engineers and what our craftsmen do here to really give uh, an idea of attention to detail and how Marathon takes it to the next level. People love seeing this. All of our wiring is labeled in multiple locations. There's several reasons for doing that, but the most important reason for doing that is when troubleshooting. We know where every wire is supposed to go and we know how to find every wire and so would you as an owner because you are provided with the roadmap for the lack of a better term of all the wiring that's in a marathon coach and let's keep in mind there's seven miles of wiring in a marathon coach it's kind of like jackson pollock organized when it comes to our wiring and then this panel just goes right back up providing you with access when you need it so that's pretty much Marathon Coach 1261. If you have additional questions, you can comment right there, or you can email me, malw at marathoncoach.com if you have questions or comments, or are interested in purchasing 1261 or another coach. Feel free to uh, contact us, and thanks for watching. Take care.